With millions of dollars on the line at the White Marlin Open, how do anglers know where the fish are biting? Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappay shows us the technology that goes towards tracking down those big money prize fish. Start your engine, hit the sea, and look out for fish. That's what all the anglers are doing right now during the 51st year of the White Marlin Open. But how do boats know where to go to reel in the biggest fish? Jim Moore, who is the general manager at Furuno, explains how their sonar technology helps anglers catch the big prize. Most fishers use an omni sonar, and the reason for that is they can see fish from 2,000 feet away. So even if you don't directly run over a fish, you can still see it off the sides or in front or behind the boat. And that way it allows you to see the fish and then start tracking it, get your lines over it and catch that fish. These little blue markings indicate the fish that are below the boat, while the screen helps track the fish surrounding the boat. And once you're off to sea, you could even have an alarm set that will notify you when a specific size fish you're looking for is near your boat. Shane Malik and his crew have this sonar technology on their boat, and he says it is a real game changer. I think you would want one. You know, you don't have to have one, obviously. You can get lucky at any time and, you know, get the right bite. That's why we're all here, you know, praying for the right bite and that we get lucky. But, you know, as in any technology, you want to put as much in your favor as you can. But finding fish isn't the only reason to use this technology. It can also help keep you and your crew safe. With the help of AI routing, the sonar technology can detect which areas are too shallow for your boat to sail over. And with dredging happening in July, this has been a known issue in Ocean City. It will also show you future weather conditions coming your way, allowing boaters to sail back to shore before it's too late. And with a storm coming any day now, Moore says this technology will come in handy when anglers are out on the water. As once Tropical Storm Debbie moves in, it's going to be a nightmare out there. And which one of those days is going to be best is as big a gamble as fishing. If you're looking to buy this sonar technology on your boat, it would cost you a whopping $120,000. I'm Kevin Zappé in Ocean City, Coast TV News.